need to learn. I need to learn some more turnarounds and some more endings, but Pete and some tempos and, some, and learn how to play in you tune. You get excited and, and it just goes. Way. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it's, I it's, again, uh, it took not... me years to perfect that <laughs> technique. <laughs> Um, oh, happy I stole New Year. It. I stole it from Jimmy Page. Um, <laughs> wow. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy uh, New I don't know how year. soon this video will come out after New Year. It might be July for all we know by now. Um, but it yes, look, uh, we got... Well, these will be, be sold by then. Purdy anyway. Guitars yeah. from uh, the master of making Purdy Guitars, oh. uh, Mr. Paul Reed Smith. Yeah. Um, PRS 1985, the year the factory started. Private stock. It's beautiful, aren't they? Yeah, it's... Uh, listening to Paul talk about this guitar, it's kind of... These limited runs, these private stock limited runs, are very much driven by... Almost by accident. They're just... A, a particular delivery of wood has to arrive at PRS or an opportunity to buy some wood has to come up at PRS. Yeah. Where the guys just go, Whoa! Just a second there. Hold your horses. Uh, beautiful. This yeah. is special. So... In a nutshell, the beautiful woods used for this are. Let's start with the let's start with the important bit. Curly maple top, yeah. crazy curly maple top. Yeah. Uh, on the back, African mahogany. Mm -hmm. Correct. Uh, on the front, Honduran rosewood used for the veneer on the top of the headstock and the fretboard. Um, so beautiful that. It's very dark. very beautiful. Very it, dark. Uh, it's a little different to the regular Paul's guitar. In that we've now got a bound neck. Yeah. Again, I believe, is it using curly maple binding? It looks like it. It is, curly maple yeah. binding. That really sets it um, off, I like that. We've got a hand-applied stain rather than a complete spray to get the uh, the burst. I think it's sprayed around the edges, but stained in the middle. Paul, Paul explains this in the video. Yeah, there's a does. video. We can put a link in the description below to where he actually talks about the whole process of, of yeah. how they do this. Um, Pickups and switching and bridge and everything is as per the Paul's guitar. Yeah. Um, so I guess if you're, you know, if you're loving this, but but this is, you know, a little bit out of your reach. And let's be honest with you, for most of us, this is going to be a, one of those kind of collector's guitars, not going to be an every man's guitar. Um, no. But Paul's guitar Shame. is a little more in reach. But the bit that excites me the most about this is the fact that it's proper old school hand applied nitrocellulose finishing so this is a hundred percent gonna age relic crack whatever you want to call it yeah um like a guitar from you know that era so anything from like the 1920s through to the sort of 60s i guess yeah you know, this is gonna do and, and and to be fair you know there are some modern manufacturers still using that technique but yeah so and it does say that if you buy this the chances of this will crack, and I think that's what he wanted to do with it as well. That it get that it'll get that yeah. worn, finished look on it. But and I think, as we talked about just before we started, if this gets some dings and dongs, and the the the, the I know personally for me, mm. I like it. But if that starts to crack, and if some a proper player gets a hold of this and gives it like five years of playing, you know, and it cracks and it gets a little yeah. bit of worn up there. Man, it's, I think it would look... Pete, awesome. take us, we'll probably both take you through some tones, actually, because I was going to hand it to Pete, but I'm enjoying playing this guitar so much. I'm going to do some myself. Some of the sustain and the notes and the harmonics, I have to be honest with you, I think Paul is a... He goes up in my estimation as a guitar builder every single year. The, these um, TCI pickups yeah. are... Just some of the most musical, usable in both the split coil and the full humbucking mode pickups yep. you'll ever hear. But I agree. I mean, it's the perfect studio guitar. I'm gonna use my Paul's guitar for, I would say, ninety percent of the studio work I do mm. because of the because of the pickups and the way that they, the, as you say, the sustain and the that harmonics. Mm. That you know, you can you, know, you have to try it out for yourselves. Uh, it's and it and I like the use of friendly. Friendability, was it? Is that the word? User friendability. friendability. Yeah. Is that a word? It is. Word. Where your where your three way selector switch and then a uh, split for each pickup. And that's right. that, yeah. it's really cool because the middle position where you if you I have to just demonstrate, but you can split one and the other one is is can full fat humbugger. Now that we're on four K, you can see the state of Pete's right hand, and the do this is all dog. Uh, this is all dog related. Dog related. Yeah. This is, is over it? Christmas when I just let the, the dog, it just bites me like that. So, God, no. that's brutal. It is brutal. It's like you've been um, like, ripping up bramble bushes with your bare hands. It something. is, but I haven't. It's just simply the dog. You get so happy. 
You know, he's got his lipstick out and everything when he sees me. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Pete. All Give right. us some of those tones. Okay, oh, so you're so good. So you've got the split position. So downwards is the full humbugger. And then split it. But it doesn't lose. Oh, that, that, oh. that, that. It's funny that video we I watched with Paul earlier that I mentioned. Maybe we can put a link in the description. It's the it's the blues that's played, isn't it? Yeah, it's always so like. Because it all the note definition is amazing. Um, so in the middle position, of course, you can choose to have both on a humbucker. or one as a single. Are both as singles. Tone control. Volume. Everything is very user friend very Nerdy. What is it? What do you call it? I can't. You know, it's, it's like a hi-fi. Well, no, it's it's not hi-fi because it, that's the wrong word for it. I think um, it's very hot in here. It's it's the wrong word for it. The hi-fi thing. It's just a. It's the harmonic it definition. Clarity, it's a clarity that's in these pickups that every time I use mine, it surprises me every time. I go, whoa! It's I don't remember it being like that. You know, um, back position. Yeah, again, my excuse the hands. <laughs> it looks terrible. Oh, man. You can hear it. Clean amp, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, with what? Just a boost pedal. Got a little like bit a... of boost, but clean boost. But you I... can hear it wants to go on certain it, notes it or, does... on a clean sound. It's crazy. I mean, it's, the sustain is amazing. Uh, let's do a little bit of drive, just on the back pickup there. Split that. See, I'm playing with the fingers because I'm so, I don't want to, mm pick it up, you know, uh, it's just, I don't. It's just a good tone. It's it's a great tone. So that was a little bit. I, of a, uh, I mean, that's <laughs> my only. It's not even really a criticism of it. It's probably the best guitar that I think I've ever played by PRS as a guitar with a price tag that means I suspect it'll go to people that will just want to look at it. <laughs> you know, it's, it's very like, pretty. It, I, I get I, that. I mean, I really kind of feel like the the the. I'm all scared the of playing The most it, you know? magical thing that could happen to these two guitars, or all 85 of these guitars, would be somehow to go to players that are just going to go, yep, yeah, I'm just going to play it. I don't yeah. care that, that... It's pretty to look know, at. The more I do this with it, the, the, I know that relatively quickly with this kind of um, finishing technique, you, you're going to see signs of wear on it. 
Um, yeah. Unless you literally just don't touch it. And it, it, it is just there <sighs> so is just a good. thing with the with the with the harmonics on these guitars that I just I can't, I can't explain it. <laughs> Try a bit of a uh, fuzz. Oh, mate. Bit of an argo. Stick it on a single coil as well, just see what it does. Ooh. Blimey. Holy moly. I'm scared of playing it. Uh, every time, it's that's... funny, every time we did, we did the dragons as well. It was like, I know. I'm I a bit the, scared of it. You know? The thing is that we, we kind of know that, that, you know, it's nice to own a guitar and you can go, yeah, I got the one that was used in the, in the video. And that's, you know, I'm sure that's the same whoever's channel you see it on, if you see it on the PRS channel, whatever. So I've got here the serial number. We got the 20 because it would have been made in 2020. And then I've got 311285. Um, and it says private stock number 9156, Pauls 85 Limited, dated the, I have to get this the right, it's the American way around, isn't it? So this would be the 10th of November. So it says 11, 10, 20, so that'd be 10th of November. Yeah. Uh, and it's signed by both the Pauls, so both the main the man himself and the Paul, the other Paul that runs the uh, private stock um, line. So, and this one here is a 20 for the year, and then it's 3113, and I think it's a six and a five. What do you think? Six five on the top there, right? Yeah. Yeah, six uh, five. And then private stock number is 9169. And uh, I think that way they do 11, the 11, private 20. stock number is that's like a consecutive. So each individual private stock number is just the next one along, if you like, oh, okay. on that, that private stock number as opposed to the serial number, which might. Looks like Alba. Jessica Alba. It does. 6169. Oh, man. 9169. What's the date on yours? Uh, 11, 11, 20. So, literally, so this the is... day after this one. Yours was made oh, yeah, on that's... the 11th of November, and this was made on the 10th of November. Yeah. That's cute. That's cute, he said. <laughs> that's cute. You've been home too long. I haven't played guitar for a while, Lee. You haven't played guitar man, for a while. Alive. I've got all these different pedals the on my board, and it's like. <laughs> dark isn't it sounding that one I think I've got like a slightly fuzzier kind of I don't know if that's my favourite sounding pedal or not for this, but it was just once it was on, it was on. Uh, light, <laughs> light speed. I don't, it's called this Zenray. I'm not even in Pogo. I can't remember. I've got this prototype thing of this pedal, and some days I play it and, and I'd like it, and some days I play it and I don't like it, but it's, seen, it's just very different to all the other pedals on my board, so I like it like that. Like uh, that. I tell you what is good. I tell you what is good is the new Harmonious Monk <laughs> from... Uh...
anyway, that's a little bit, I don't know what I was doing with that when it was last on, but that sounds great. So there we are. Look, I kind of yeah. feel... Wobbling too much now, aren't we? You get these beautiful certificates, again, all signed by the team at PRS. Beautiful cases. Uh, you get the crazy private stock um, Paisley cases. Let me just... Ooh, crikey, it weighs three times as much as the guitar. So you get one of those, all beautiful inside as well. Um, you'll potentially get some fingerprints from Pete and I on no, these. I will make sure they get cleaned um, nicely before. So, a little bit of housekeeping on these. If you're going to buy one of these, or in fact any guitar finished in ye old fashioned nitro, just bear in mind that if you don't want it to crack, or you want to minimise the cracking, what you need to be careful of, as well as obviously just how much you play it, but what you really need to be careful of is how quickly the guitar transitions from hot to cold. So, for example, if on the day you get this guitar, assuming you buy it and have it shipped to you via courier, particularly at winter, where it might have been quite cold in the delivery driver's van and quite warm in your house, leave it in the box and in the case for like 24 hours before you even open it. I know yeah. it's going to be like the hardest thing in the world to do because <laughs> you've got your brand new guitar and you're super, super excited. Yeah. But leave it for 24 hours because that'll allow then the whole guitar to very slowly acclimatize to the new heat and um, should minimize the, the movement and therefore the cracking. If, however, you can't help yourself, you literally and you just dive out and the guitar goes from like one or two degrees centigrade in the van to 25 degrees centigrade in your house, yeah. expect some cracking. If you like the cracking, you can do what Pete did on his Les Paul, which is spray <laughs> the guitar with... Um, I, he I, he I took a hairdryer first, but, nicely heated right. up, and then an upside down compressed air spray, because then it sprays basically just ice out. Mm. And then you spray that on it and it literally, it'll yeah. go whack. But I wouldn't recommend doing it on this guitar. I think this needs to do it like... Yeah, I would just let this do this naturally. Yeah. But just... Yeah. Just be careful because, you know, it's, I don't really know it in the sense of, I, I genuinely do believe that this, both these guitars, all of these 85 They're beautiful limited, man. they need to go to someone that's going to make some killer music with it. They really do. It, 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 it deserves to be played, right? And I think that's the shame with a lot mm. of the guitars. I mean, not you can saying, understand with the collectors. You can understand with the Dragon, yeah. like all the inlays and everything on the Dragon, a massive amount of that cost is just there to make it look aesthetically beautiful, like a work of art, hang it on the wall, look at it and enjoy owning it like that. Yeah. These, I just think you, need to play you enjoy, one. you will enjoy the, the, the noises that come out of them and the, and the music it inspires you to, to hopefully make. Anyway. Anyway. Beautiful. We, we should beautiful. do like some, we should do it's some bad, uh, atmospheric uh, jam out, Lee, we should. Atmospherically jam? Yeah. Okay. What do you think? Yeah, absolutely. As long, like as long as I can play blues licks in A. You can play blues licks in A over anything. It's, it's, just, it's just Maybe it doesn't sound as great. But anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks, man. Welcome to 2021. Yeah, let's hope and, it's a little bit better. Uh, let's make it a good one. Try at least. Like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell, bell as well because otherwise you won't, you'll miss when you'll we miss put it. videos yeah. live. So love you loads. Thank you.